Hey, it's five more minutes of free advice. Today's topic is Be Grateful, brought to you by Seven Generation Games. I would like you to meet my frog. His name is Type 1. He is named after the most common error in statistical reasoning. This is Nemo. He's a beta. If you are a statistician, you find it very amusing that I have a beta. If you're not, you have no idea why that's funny. But regardless, he is my granddaughter's fish who for some reason lives in my office. This is Patty. She's a guinea pig. She is very much not in favor of being in this video. Rainbow, the chinchilla, also lives in my office at the moment. His attitude about being picked up for this video was pretty much, oh, hell no. Five minutes of free advice is all about being grateful. Now you might wonder what a frog named type one Nemo the fish, Patty the guinea pig, and Rainbow the chinchilla all have in common. And I'll tell you, they all live in my house and they all have clean water, enough food to eat, a safe place to live, they don't have to worry about anybody shooting them or anybody bothering them or anybody attacking them. And those factors make their lives better than a vast number of human beings. In their entire lives, nothing's ever threatened them. In their entire lives, they've never gone without food to eat or fresh water or a clean, safe place to live. And if that's true of the critters in my life, you know, like type ones, African dwarf frog, I bought a Brookstones for a couple of bucks. If that's true of those little critters, how much more true is it of me? I was reading an article in New York Times lately about women in India and these poor women, literally very low income, that had jobs and then the elders of the village decided that women shouldn't work and told them they couldn't work and they were ostracized in the end, they were beaten and they lost their jobs. And it's a very, very sad story. And I realized that there are many countries in this world that if I'd been born there, I'd be dead. No, seriously, because I've been beaten plenty of times in my life for not being quiet and passive enough and accepting things. And I am still like this. And if I was in a culture where women were supposed to fit within those confines, I would be dead. How lucky am I that I was born in America? I didn't do anything to choose it. I just happened to luck out and here I am. And now I run a software company. How lucky am I that I was born in a time where women have opportunities. You know, my grandmother's age, my mom's generation even, it was much, much harder for women to get jobs. When my mom was applying for jobs, and even I think when I was growing up in, in high school, they still had in newspapers, men wanted and women wanted. They could just say, well, we're not gonna have a woman engineer. We're not going to have a woman statistician. We're not going to admit women to graduate school. And you read stories, that aren't from that long ago, you know, a hundred years or so. I mean, hell, I'm almost 60. So a hundred years ago, women were being told, no, you can't get a PhD in mathematics or you can't go to medical school. How lucky am I to be born in a time where that's illegal? I mean, I'm not naive enough to think that the playing field is completely level, but I'm also not so stupid as not to realize that I was born in a time and place where I have amazing opportunity. I'm really nearsighted. I'm really short. <laughs> I don't have a lot of things that would make me a superstar, except for the fact that I'm pretty good with statistics and with computers, which didn't exist a hundred years ago. I mean, I when I was in high school, how we did our programming was we wrote it out on a piece of paper and then the one student they trusted to go up to the university that was co collab collaborating with us typed it in in a key punch machine and punched cards and then a day or so later we got our output and yes I was not the student they trusted to go do it and they were right not to trust me too because I was a little hellion but how amazing is it now in 40 years, we've gone from that to getting output in a second. And I live in that time. I have a job where I wake up in the morning excited about the work that I'm going to do. 
I will look at the clock and go, oh my gosh, how did it get to be eight o'clock already? You know, 8 p.m. I've been working for 10 hours. It's really fortunate. And I think it's important to have this advice because so many of us are involved in what my wonderful husband refers to as micro complaints. We complain because our latte isn't hot enough or we had to wait at the light for another 15 seconds before somebody turned left. And we don't realize we're living in this amazing time and place. We have all these wonderful opportunities and our animals that we buy for three dollars at the pet store have a better life than most people who ever lived on this earth so think about it and be grateful www.sevengenerationgames.com games that make you smarter